This is setting up a sterile field. There are several different ways to do it, and I'm going to demonstrate a couple of different ones for you. First off, make sure that the field you're working on is at waist level, it's clean, and it's dry. Second, you want to take and make sure you do minimum amount of talking, laughing, coughing, sneezing over the field. Not only you, the patient, and others around you. And you shouldn't be where air currents are going to be going back and forth over your field. So keep all of those things in mind. Above my shoulders, out past my peripheral vision, below my waist, is considered contaminated. I can't see whatever I'm dealing with. So don't go above your shoulders, don't go below your waist, and don't go out to the side. Now, the first thing that I want to do is open up a sterile field. This is a basin here. Your book does a really good job of demonstrating this because you're going to open the first flap away from you. As I lean in, if I opened it towards me, I could contaminate by my scrubs touching. So you want to open, oh, let me back up one second. Make sure it's not wet, it looks fine. If it's been autoclaved, it'll have markings and dates on it for expiration also. If it's commercial, you'll see that it all looks good. Nothing looks like it's wet. It looks like it's still closed off here. Okay. So always check everything, inspect it before you start. Now, you want to go ahead and you want to open up and open the flap away from you. Okay. The second flap you want to open to the side. The third flap you're going to pinch the outside that's going to touch the table. Open that away from you. And then remember the one inch margin, I'm going to pull this one towards me. Now, because that fell down from the table, my one inch margin starts here on the table then. What's below that is considered contaminated because I can't see that. Okay? So that means this piece over here on the table, one inch margin, is where my sterility is. Now, I'm going to want to take and pour that saline in here, but I don't want to go over my sterile field. So what I'm going to do is grab my one inch margin and I'm going to scoot my basin over towards the one inch. Don't put it out of the one inch, leave it inside. But this way I can come, palm my label, because if it wasn't waterproof and water ran over it or liquid, it could smudge my label. Palm my label, open my bottle up, put the lid upside down. Now, if it's a new bottle, I don't have to do anything but pour. If it's a bottle that's been opened, but this was open and it's good until August the 30th, it looks like, then what I have to do is lip the bottle. And I would lip it like syrup or honey. And it's pushing the organisms off that out apart. Now, I'm going to come around to the field where I, where I have the least field to go across, and I'm going to actually pour. I should be no more than two inches above. Don't pour from here, it'll splatter one to two inches that you want to pour in, okay? And then come back around. Don't reach over your field, and you can go ahead and put the lid back on your bottle. Now, let's say, and if you notice, I'm moving this down a little bit, but I'm not pulling that back up because that's contaminated down there. Let's say that I need to put some 4 by 4s on my field. These look good. They're not wet. They look like they haven't been opened. When you open these, you want to open them up and not touch anywhere inside. You want to take, and I use this finger to push it up, and I grab the 4x4, four four, as you can see, where the package is touching the 4x4, four four, not my hand. Pull this package back over your arm so I don't have my arm hanging over the field. And have you ever seen the sun with the dust molds? That's what's happening, even though we don't have the sun to show it. So pull it back. You want to drop it down. Don't let it drop and that 1-inch margin, and don't let this part here drop down and touch. Now, I want to do a good one where you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, open it up, grab a hole of it, pull it back to cover my arm, and let it drop. And that's setting up a sterile field. You don't laugh, you don't talk, you don't sneeze around it, don't let people put their hands in it. One inch margin is the only thing that's sterile. Always check all the expiration dates and to make sure all the packages are sealed.